There, far away and high up in the high hills, Sir Handel was ready to tell his story. And Mr. Percival had the best birthday present ever. From all of the engines. So along this line, take the right-hand track past the big windmill. Ah, you're back. Here's our map. Do you know what a map is? It's like a big picture that shows you where places are and how to get to them. Do you see these red lines? These are the tracks that our Sodor engines puff along. Sodor has lots and lots of tracks, so this map has lots and lots of lines. But if we follow these lines carefully, it's very hard to get lost. Now today, Thomas and I are picking up some wood here at Brendam Docks and taking it all over the island. We'll be puffing up these tracks here, down these tracks here, and over to this side of the island and over to this side of the island. It's a long, long way, and Thomas will need lots and lots of coal. Well, I'd better get this map put away for our next engine driver. Whilst I do that, you just have time to pay a visit to Percy, our green engine, who has a very special load. Percy and the Bandstand. It was summertime on the island of Sodor. Sir Topham Hatt was in Great Waterton with Miss Jenny and her machines. They were building a new bandstand. There was to be an open-air concert that evening. It was a special surprise for Lady Hat. She loved brass bands. All the engines were busy helping to make the day special. Edward was bringing special parcels. Thomas was bringing the banners and bunting. And Percy was bringing the gravel for the pathways. Thank you, Percy. Right on time. Percy tried to shunt the freight cars into place, but the cars decided to be troublesome. Hold back. Hold back. Percy pushed and pushed, but the freight cars wouldn't move. Percy knew what he had to do. He had to use his do-as-I-say whistle. So Percy blew his whistle long and loudly. The freight cars knew that when Percy blew his do-as-I-say whistle, they had to do what he wanted. It meant Percy was in charge. Soon, all the freight cars were in line. Sir Topham Hatt bustled over to Percy. I hope I didn't blow my whistle too loudly. Not at all, Percy. You showed you were in charge. Percy was relieved. Now, I need you to collect Lady Hatt and bring her to the surprise concert. You must be here by tea time, understand? Yes, sir. You must not tell her where she is going or it will spoil the surprise. Don't worry, sir. I won't. Percy collected the passenger car. He was very excited. He had to meet Lady Hat at Maithwaite Station. It was a long way from Great Waterton. At last, Percy puffed into Maithwaite Station. All aboard! Sir Topham Hat has sent me to take you on a special trip. Oh, that sounds lovely. First of all, I'd like to go to the duck pond and Lady Hat climbed on board. Percy was worried. He was supposed to take Lady Hat to the bandstand. That was her special trip. Percy knew there wasn't time to visit the duck pond, but he didn't dare tell Lady Hat. He thought she might be cross. So he puffed to the duck pond. <laughs> 